Hello, my name is Mark Porter. I'm a technical consultant here at Shenton Group and in this short video we're going to discuss challenges that designers face in installing backup generators in buildings. By their very nature, generators produce electricity as a result of burning fuel, which could be anything from petrol, diesel, natural gas, biogas or LPG. And in the process of combustion, generators produce heat and noise. And these are challenges that you need to consider when you're carrying out your design. Our advice to you is plan early in the design process to achieve a workmanlike installation that will ultimately save capital and running costs. Challenges that designers face in this area are sixfold and they are namely ventilation, exhaust, noise, space, electrical connections and refuelling. Ventilation. This is a critical area and you need to get it right. You need to get cooling air in, combustion air in and hot air away. You need to avoid recirculation of air and consider ductwork and auxiliary fans if space is tight. Noise. Generators running at full load and unprotected produce 110 decibels at one metre and this is harmful to health. And you really need to consider how you're going to deal with noise. And it can be done in a number of ways. You can use an acoustically lined room, choice of suitable building materials, you can use attenuators on the inlet and outlet or an acoustic cabinet. Exhaust. Generators are noisy and produce fumes which are harmful to health. And there are environmental concerns that you need to consider in your design. An exhaust may be just a simple extension to the exhaust pipe running through the wall of the generator room, or it could be a twin wall stainless steel system running through or up the outside of the building to the roof. Space. Maintenance access is crucial. Remember the generator will be visited at least once a year by a maintenance engineer who will be carrying tools, parts, consumables, barrels of oil. A working area around the generator is crucial. Consider the size of the generator room in your design. Electrical connections. This is an essential part of the structure and you need to consider cable size and routing. Cables may come into the generator connection box from above or from below. You also need to consider the distance between the generator and the switch gear. This also has an influence on cable size. Refueling. How long is the set expected to run for? Is it hours, days, weeks, or over a weekend shutdown? If it's hours, the base tank of a set will normally run up to 12 hours. If it's days or weeks, you need to consider bulk fuel installations, which include fuel transfer systems, either electrical or mechanical. Also, all environmental regulations concerning the bulk storage of fuel must be adhered to in your design. At Shenton Group we maintain that good advice is essential for good design and we invite you to contact us with any issues or challenges that you may have in your generator installation. We are here to help you, we will listen to you, we will never walk away from a problem. Thank you for listening.